Children, that's men's imagination. Because Jesus Christ cannot come till after the man of sin's revealed. And when he comes, I'm going to show you it's not a sneaking in. You go with me. We're going to prove these things. To Revelation chapter 1. Now remember, I read you in Jude. He's coming to execute judgment upon the ungodly. Paul said it's appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. We look for him a second time without sin unto salvation. Now, go to Revelation. Come on. Chapter 1. Listen to verse 7. Revelation 1 and 7. Turn with me. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. And Jesus said, I am Alpha Omega, beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Did he say he's coming with clouds? And did he say, I want you to keep that in mind, every eye, every eye will see him. And they also that pierced him. And did he also say, all kindreds of the earth, is that nations, shall wail because of him. Children, that ain't no sneaking in here. Listen to John in verse 9 to go a little further. I, John, who also am your brother, and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ. Children, John even admitted back then that they were in the kingdom and they also was in the tribulation because they had their part. They went through a lot of persecution, suffering, and a lot of tribulations in their days. Jesus told them, you'd be brought up before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Come on. Some of you'd be put to death. Some of you'd be stoned and some of you'd be beaten. Remember, all through the Bible, children, God's had his hand up on his people. But now we can't find in the Bible where there's a sneaking in here. When Jesus said in Revelation 16, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keeps his garment. Now listen to me. He never said he was a thief, but I come as one, which means that people's not watching. People's not ready. And he knows what hour and day he's a coming, but we don't. The day of the Lord, Peter said, will come as a thief. A natural thief can't enter in the kingdom. Jesus is not a thief, but he comes as one, which simply means when they're not aware. Now this is what the Bible's warning us. We have plenty of Bible of his second coming. And I'll show you children, it's very much needed now. And you go home and read these things. And I'll give you a little tip off what 90% of you so-called leaders is teaching you. They want you to get out of here before the tribulation. They want you to buy their videos. They want you to buy their ways. But yet if you go to the Bible, you're going to find out they're missing it bad. And they use this scripture out of Revelation chapter 4 when John was caught up in the spirit to the throne. They said that's the church. Go read that out. That had nothing to do with the church. Look at it here. I'll just read it for you. Revelation 4 said, After this I looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven. First voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Now watch this. And immediately John said, I was in the Spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and thank God one sat on the throne. Children, go read that out. When God said, come hither, all that happened to John, he got in the spirit, and he seen a throne. This has nothing to do with the church being taken out of here. They teach you that Enoch was a type of the church, and he was translated and should not see death. 
But see, children, that's men's telling. Ask them to give you Bible where it said in it was a type of Christ. It ain't in there. See, sure, Elijah was caught up in the chariot and so forth. Far. But that didn't say that he was a type of Christ and the church. That's imagination teaching that. Jesus tells you plainly about his second coming. Did not the Bible say he's coming with clouds and every eye shall see him? That's the whole world. Okay, let's make sure. Go with me to Matthew 24 in your Bible. Matthew chapter 24. Turn with me and listen to Jesus himself. Matthew 24. Children, this is very important. We understand these things. And listen to verse 27. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. See, that's Christ and his host. Now read verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. Children, should we take that word out? After and maybe slip in before? Or what about just taking that and putting during the tribulation? Now if I did that, would that make me right with God? God said if any man add or take away from the words of the prophecy of this book, and that just didn't mean revelation. We can't add to his words. Did you know what Proverbs, let's just go back and I'll show you what Proverbs, this is a good day to teach. Proverbs, go back to Proverbs 30th chapter and I want to show you what God said. And you're not going to get me to pull one out to get a crowd. I know a lot of people's afraid of me, but I can't help it because I just read it to you. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you to get the crowd. I'm just going to tell you what the Bible said and let it go with that. Now listen to him. Proverbs chapter 30 in your Bible. Turn with me. Listen to what God said. Verse 5. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Verse 6. Add thou not unto his words lest he reprove thee and thou be found a liar. Come on. How many liars is going to heaven? What did the Bible say? All liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. Does it say that? Who is a father of lies? So this Bible was put in here by the Lord. Holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And have you noticed we got new Bibles now and everybody's got new interpretations? Children, God said don't add to His words lest you be found a liar and He reprove you. And when He reproves you, usually it comes to the open. So it pays us to be on guard, don't it? Now, listen to Jesus, Matthew 24. You at home, mark this to see if I'm telling you right or not. Verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, the moon will not give her light, the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power, thank God, in great glory. Now, did he say in verse 30, all tribes of the earth are mourn, every nation, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Well, did Revelation say, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. God help us. Where is that sneaking out of here? Children, I plead to you in the name of Jesus, study your Bible. There is no sneaking. If you're studying, God's my helper today. They're teaching to you that Jesus comes to sneak the church out and saves 144,000 Jews 
and they go out and save Israel and then the rest of the world goes through hell in the tribulation. Children, there's no difference in the Jew or Gentile. The 144,000 arose with Jesus after His resurrection. If you'll read Matthew 27, as God is my helper, the many bodies of the saints was that 144,000. And I've taught on it before and I'm going to get on it again because this is the last days. Listen to me. You better believe that God warned Noah to build an ark, didn't He? To the saving of His house. And I believe it took him about 120 years and he was called a preacher of righteousness. You think he didn't warn them that a floods are coming? Your preachers is not warning you. They're saying everything's going to continue. Look at all these doctors on your television. Aren't they telling you that the church is going to abide ever on this earth? We're just going to go to heaven long enough to get married and come back here and live? See, children, they've got this messages of our Lord so far out of place, people don't know what to do. But I do. I can tell you right now, just read the Bible and leave it alone. It don't confuse you. If you read Matthew, now listen to me, verse 29. If it tells you immediately before the tribulation of those days the sun will be darkened. If it says that, in case you are reading it, you're shaking your head, no, it don't. But what about your preacher? We're not going to be raptured, children, till, or we're going to be raptured before the tribulation. Children, listen to me. If I put a before in there, isn't that adding? And that blind leads the blind, we're all going into the big ditch. We better start just simply reading. Now, I see my time's about up. They stopped me writing the best part. But I'm just telling you, heaven and earth, verse 35, shall pass away. How many multitudes said no, they're not. They're not going to pass away. This is our eternal home. Who's right? You might ought to read Peter, Jesus. Now, them good gentlemen. John in Revelation 20 and 21 tells you this earth will pass away. But of course, people say, no, it won't. So judgment's coming, children. Now, be sure to stay with me. I want to show you the real descendant of the Lord, whether it's a sneaking or not. This is important we know these things because, children, we need to look up. Our redemption is getting nice. So please study after these things. Till we see in our next program, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. We would like to thank you for joining Brother Rowe and invite you to continue with him in outreach. Your prayers and support will be deeply appreciated. If God leads you to help in this ministry, please send your contributions to The Church of Jesus Christ, Post Office Box 283, Baxter, Kentucky 40806. And may God bless you.